guys, I am Cinnamon Toast Ken. And today we're playing Happy Trigger Havoc Danganronpa. This is not a new game, this has been out for a while, but it came out on Steam recently, and we're gonna play it. It's kind of a, a little bit of a, uh... People die. People die, and we have to go off Phoenix right on them, and be like, you're guilty, and story, and it's gonna be great. Okay, press start. I shot somebody already. I haven't looked at my options yet. There's also this little weird bear thing over here on the right side. I don't really know what he's all about, but he looks like good and evil. And then the guy on the left is just, he just can't believe what's happening. Uh, language is English because I don't speak Japanese. Uh, logic difficulty? Action difficulty? We'll just put it on medium, whatever. We'll, we'll get it, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Oh, guys, this game's scary. Hello. <sighs> He's gone. Oh. Well, that, you're laughing about it. All right. Well, this guy's. Uh, didn't expect it to start off like that. I figured it'd start off with a little more animu, animu going on. But trigger happy havoc Dagnum Mark for Gregor. Massive high schools, towers, all over the buildings are bustling urban areas. It's like, I wasn't prepared to read, sorry, I thought they had voice acting in this game. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. There it is, our school. Hope's Peak Academy, where they shoot people off in rockets, or this, this freaking weird teddy bear that kills people. It brings the top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. Or well, that's white privilege. They say they come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Nice. There are two things you need to attend to the school. Oh, excuse me, one, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. A high school student. You're the very best high school student you can be. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is you're scouted by the school itself. Uh huh. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. I was the best at whatever it is that I do. Awesome. And I got this. I'm all wearing all black. Got some red shoes. Go there we go. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Hello. Oh, that's all the voice acting you're getting. He's done. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite TV show or movie, then I'll just be whatever most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So, I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figured it's good, it was always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. What does that mean exactly, gung-ho, hmm? Whatever, I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, staying in front of the anything but ordinary Hope Speak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence. It's like trying to swallow me whole. It's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let's just, let, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night and to get ready for today. Uh, huh? Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field, but what am I good at? It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So, to prepare, I looked up some of these threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. Well, oh, that one, is it the one in the back right there? She looks pissed. <laughs> I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer in a pop group famous all over the country. Wow, and then this guy, this guy's intense. 
There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the, 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 the National High School champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. I'm gonna pew, hit the ball. Yeah. Ooh. And then there's the ultimate fash, fashionista. Ultimate fashionista, I guess. God, look at those boobs up there. In the, you're behind my head now, but they they were pretty delicious. Oh, there's some there too. Yeah, I see her. She keeps on evolving. Maybe because she's going through puberty. Uh, she's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Hmm. Oh, and then this guy. Look at that hair. Oh, man. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. That hair, that was awesome. This guy. This guy right here. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Ah. Oh. There's some serious folk going to this school. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, <laughs> the ultimate gambler. Uh, some people watching this right now may, may argue about the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered in the pride of lines. But still, it was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all these ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievable average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? Good question. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter and they sent me to see why. Uh, they say we held a lottery. <laughs> I'm lucky, okay. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have just been better off declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't say no. <sighs> but then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gates forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't up for a little while, but I should probably just go ahead in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. Mm, 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 mm. Ultimate lucky student. I am lucky, maybe. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over the, in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so there's a full 50 minutes left. It makes, my, it makes sense nobody else will be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Try to play it cool. Trying to play it cool. I took my first step into the Hope's Peak Academy. It was my, also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Oh God! What the? But the instant I look, that, uh, but the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That's how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Wow, this game took a turn real fast. Welcome to Despair Prologue. Despair High School. Wow! What a trap. Do you want to save data? <laughs> yep, I think I do. Right here. Save there. Yes, yes, sir. -y. Whew. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. 
Ah, I'm so pale. Is that me? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hardened wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal. It's pretty normal for me to zoink off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck's going on? Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. This is, okay. Ooh, is this like a first person game? Or what? I don't really get it. Uh, but there's something, there's a thing here. Let's look at it. What is that? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have, must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. What's this on the desk? An orientation guide? Some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell, is this some kind of joke? Freaking camera up here, is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in, I guess they have to keep these weirdos from just wandering in. But then the freak, the, the windows are bolted in. What the heck? Hey, normal classroom, there'd be a win that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal, thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are the metal plates over the windows? Yeah, that is definitely for real, for real weird. Uh... There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government. I guess it's not weird that the TV's here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. All right, let's go out the door, I guess. Better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. Of course, there's something I'm missing. What is it? It's a clock! Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just 7 when I first got here. Has it really almost been an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up that I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here? That's true. It must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You leave the classroom by pressing the B button. Fantastic. Leave this area? Yes, I would like to leave this area. Ah, in the hallway. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the B button while moving to run. Press Y button to bring up a map. Close the map. How convenient. It is first person game. Neat. So, I have to run from stuff. Oh, it's weird controls too. Like, it's like go forward and left and right are on the same stick. I'm playing with a controller. The Spare Hotel. Wow. The Spare Hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. What this is, I got the scary bear on the thing. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Oh, well, fine. Let's get away from that then. That doesn't look good at all. Hello? AV room? I gotta just go to the main hall. Well, that looks dangerous and like I shouldn't go in there. Huh. The school store. I guess it's not open. Okay. Uh, where's the main hall at? Is this the main hall? Maybe? Is, is this? Yeah, go in there. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone was already there. Nice. Whoa, oh, hey. Wow. Another new kid? Yeah, it's, look at that. What the? What, who are you? Oh, you must be the ultimate martial artist. Is that a girl? You wearing a dress? Hot. Huh? Then you guys are all... Oh, man. Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a <clears throat> good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Mm, maybe. I like that guy's hair back there, though, just stuck up. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. Is there, are those gun turrets up there in the background? And a vault door? Wow, alright. All right, I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking their faces in one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel 
a kind of aura coming from each of them. Yeah, there are the turrets and all the characters. Uh, how's it going? My name's Mikado Nagi. Sorry I'm late, but a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. Oh, so strange to declare beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is a strange situation indeed. What are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Listen to me! <laughs> Makato! Your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 p.m. sharp! To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report you and you must accept your due punishment! What's your problem? It's not like you wa- <laughs> It's just the- It's not like you wanted to be here late. You didn't have any control over it. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go and introduce ourselves? The hell? Now's not the time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm not going to remember all these voices. Jesus, there's too many. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be a good at least to find out who we are all before digging the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a, uh, that, that's a good point. Um. Okay, so let's get the introductions out of the way, then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good. I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best just to focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good as good a chance as I'm going to get. I already looked everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. All right, I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim to the students, press the A button to talk. Conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. All right, well, let's look at this vault on the wall first. Uh, holy cow, what is this huge metal hatch? Looks like some kind of thing you'd seen in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? The door definitely wasn't even... The door the, the door definitely wasn't here then, though. And freaking turret guns? That's what I'm interested in. Look at these things. That surveillance camera, that surveillance camera has what it looks like a gun attached to it. There's no way that's a real gun. Right? Probably so. Okay, Mr. Loudmouth, let's talk to you first. I'm huh, he jumps! I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. All right. All right. This is uh, ultimate moral compass. The ultimate moral compass, huh? Hmm. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won, and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community, public morals community. Yeah, committee. Blah, blah. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. I can use that against him later then. <laughs> anyway, you can call, uh, uh, that's him. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Mo whatever, right? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? <laughs> and to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! This guy's kind of annoying. All right, hey, who's next? Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Oh no, one of you. Toko. Toko Fukawa. All right. Writing prodigy. Not like you bite me or anything. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launching her literary career. And two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women and that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. Despite her age, she won countless literary, literary prizes, and I can't read, and all of her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type with all her masterpieces being romance and all. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. your problem? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I, I just thought. I, I know what you just thought. You thought you'd ne never seen such an ugly woman. You, oh, God. You thought it was so. Oh, I can look at her. You thought, you thought it was so funny. No, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Still don't bother lying to me. I don't even know what her voice was at the beginning. Uh, I know it's true. Otherwise, you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm, I'm used to it. 
Well, talking about inferiority, inferiority complex, I was way off about what a successful author should be like. Oh, hey, girl. What's up? I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Well, same. And then she's, oh, it's the ultimate pop sensation. Sayaka. The way she moves is positively mesmer mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent, <laughs> I can't quite place Siaka Mizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's a, look, just look at her, look at her. Uh, the girl in the background over there just cracks me up every time. She's so mad. She's pop famous, uh, pop group famous all country and she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. Uh, but actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she's she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. So we know each other, huh? Is that what he was getting at? Oh my god! Oh my god! She did she read my mind? Cause the blue is in my mind. I'm not a I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive, huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Uh huh. Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp hey, one. Um, hey, bye. Any chance? Now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Mikado did. Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long are you gonna plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Um, oh my God. Don't interrupt by our by our character progression stuff here. Sorry, I just got carried away. I guess. You hear me? Except for a you for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. Um, You're right. Sorry. Sorry, we can talk about this later. Sound like Siaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll ever, we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Or she'll die apparently to the freaking opening. Who's this guy? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Leon Kuwata. You look like a druggie, I guess. Ultimate baseball store. Oh, it's you. I recognize that name. Yeah, he grew his hair out. He played the National High School Champs, the, the blah blah. He's an athlete specimen. You? Seriously? <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. And all. What? What do you expect? Some kind of kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. Ah, farted. Sorry. I mean, when I found an article and picture of you. Uh, that's me talking. When I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found a picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. Bruh, this is not cool. This is like so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. You didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not going to dye it back to normal either. Listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? No. I don't like baseball, like, at no, all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he's still the team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good! I have my own dreams for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is for getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? I I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone to own guitar, and we're set. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max! Can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear someone saying something like that from a baseball all-star. And then this guy. He's got this arrow pointing down to his uh, belly button and mouth. I like his cat mouth though. Hi, oh my god. If you want to call me by my nickname. Oh my god. The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Alright. Alright. <laughs> The ultimate fanfic creator! I found him! <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, his name, or his voice. By the way, how much do you know about the two world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fanfic, my fan comics at school festival. The event has passed into the legend. <laughs> Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying, I tainted even the event. How stupid can you be? I really can't <laughs> read his stuff. That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, 
The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Von Go, utterly unappreciated my time. I'm a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. N oh, wrong button. Mr. Nayagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. All right. Okay, now talk to those five people over there. All right. Let's start with you because I don't know you. Hey ya. Hello. My friends just call me Hina. Hina? Sup, Hina? You are a swimming pro. Of course you are. Look at your hair. It's all put up and nice. Hey, was Sheena? She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olymp Olympic cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combinations of her ability, appearance, and um, portions has been widely discussed online. Her proportions, you say? I didn't notice them tatas. So, uh, what's your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Uh, Makoto Nagi. Oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Makoto Nagi, Makoto Nagi. She kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? You don't know? I want to remember someone's name. You got to write on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Um... <laughs> Well, I have no idea. I <laughs> just figured it out. I'll figure it out later. I'll write it down. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned: she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy, but she is. She can't. She doesn't know how to spell, and uh, she's just, she's kind of dumb. All right, how about you? Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Aren't you Hiro Fujisaki? Hello, hello, hello. She is the ultimate programmer. Did you make this game? Did you make this game? Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed when I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. I made her cry! You don't have to apologize for that. Oh yeah. Uh, whatever her name is, is known for all the cutting edge programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has ended, <laughs> which has endeared her, her legion of fans. So listen, don't oh, stop crying. I'm sorry. Why? What are you apologizing um, for now? Oh, it's just, you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> huh, I'm glad. All right, starting to understand why our fans are so into her. Uh, what about you? You look dangerous. Dot 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 dot. Uh, can I ask your name? Dot dot dot. Kyoko Kyoko. Okay, Kyoko. She is ultimate. Who knows? We don't know about her. Dot dot dot. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, uh, but you know. Her name didn't show up anywhere on the Hope Speak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? So, uh, what are you doing at this school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So, what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. What should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point asking. Moving on to whoever you are. Hi. Oh god, you look evil. Charmed, I'm sure. I am just charmed. You look like, you look like a smoker. Ultimate fashionista. That's you! Anybody would recognize this one. She's got her stuff pinned everywhere. She's got more charm presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate thing we already went over. I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Come on. Are you, oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> uh, well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. So they aren't real. What can we do? 
Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big. <laughs> the eyes and junk and tweak the skin so it looks all somatic and porcelain. No. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Tell her she looks better in person, then you'll be in. All right, what's up with you, Please man? Nice to fucking meet you. Thanks. But you gotta sound more intense than that. This guy's freaking ready. Biker gang leader. Uh, Mondo Iwata, huh? Mondo, which means he's the current leader of all the bicycle gang guys, like we already went over. Um, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Hell yeah! I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up the bottom of the sea. Oh, and there's more. Four more are left. Uh, are they, oh my god. <laughs> this right here, this is gonna be... This is, oh man, Sakura, you are beautiful. Ultimate martial artists. Jeez. She's so ripped. Jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit about more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing here forever now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. <laughs> hey, you. Huh, yes? I snapped her attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod my body. Huh, what are you? Oh, muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm, what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. <laughs> she would crush me. And this guy, he looks like a smarty pants. Oh, hey, Byakuga. Uh, affluent progeny? What does that mean? Nice to meet you. You just speak languages? That's the most half ass introduction I've ever heard. There isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. He is the, the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. So he's rich. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of the Ultimate Affluent Prodigy is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned from him about that Hope's a Peak Academy Elan thread. We're done with introductions, right? So how long are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. I already give you a sissy voice. His R says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. All right, how about this guy? This guy looks cool. Hero Hagakure, hero for short. Take it easy, yeah. I know I will. All right, we'll take it easy then. What are you, the clairvoyant? Ah, not the ultimate pothead, known as supernova in the psychic community. The trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Uh, okay, I give up. Oh, what happened? Serious. I saw it. He looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Mm. A guardian angel with a crazy... <laughs> a guardian angel with a crazy perm. Oh, not sperm. <laughs> Chasing after Bigfoot, running off with the sky finish in his mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school. I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and that's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. All right, what's up? I do not think we have been introduced. Uh-huh. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. The ultimate gambler. Uh, all right. Celestia Luden, huh? Ludenberg. It's my name, but if you don't mind, I'd prefer you to call me Celeste. Um... You are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? Because Lolita is in Japanese! Mind blown, I'm sure. It's not. It's just an adaptation from stuff into the Japanese anime. I'm not gonna explain it to you. You, you can look it up. If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. 
But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but very forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. Self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title of Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile's beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. Yeah. And with that, all the introductions are done. Even, huh, even though they're all ultimate, and each of them have their own individual sort of something. Okay, time to get down to business. And with that, we are going to stop this episode. We're going to come back next time with more stuff. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Mwah! Mwah! This is a little boob thing. And, uh, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. See you guys in the next episode. Until then, oh god, I dropped the controller. Stay toasty, my friends. <laughs>